Hello and welcome back to the craft box. My name is Brent and today we are looking at the best ways to get event points in the spiral showcase. Um, obviously I have zero points the event has just started. Um, I would recommend before we start to have energy gear on just in order to start. If you're not doing the fishing or the pet stuff that's fine. Um, but it, it does require energy gear for the first bit or should probably have it just in case. Um, obviously my energy is not full um, which is fine. I have been not wearing this um, energy gear for a while. Um, first off, what you need to do is go to Archetice and get five black coal and um, five simple vials. Those are for crafting later. I've already done so because I was not actually planning to make this video today. Um, and then we're going to go over to Storm Riven, go and catch some fish. Um, got to go fishing. Um, I believe we will be catching basically firefish. I don't actually do fishing much. Um, and I think this is like the second time that I've actually done fishing for this um, event So yeah, just um, bear with me as I make my way over to the fish in Storm Riven Okay, so first off what you should probably do is set it up for catching firefish We're only going to be catching firefish if they get away. That's unfortunate if you have fishing luck gear I would recommend using it just because essentially every time that you catch a fish um, you one point and um, that also multiplicates or adds if there's a rank to it as well. Obviously, this is a rank one fish, so we're going to be getting um, one one point, which is fine. Um, this doesn't guarantee you will always get the three points that you can get from them, but it, it's it, this is just how I do it. But yeah, the fishing is probably the part that will take the longest, obviously, because fish are the most fickle things ever, and I really dislike them so much. Can you just freaking bite the thing, please? That would be great. I would appreciate if you could just, you know, bite it and, and chew it and enjoy it, please. Please bite it, chew it, and enjoy it. So yeah, I'll be back once I've collected all of these fish for the next step. Okay, that is all of the fishing points, 20. Um, the higher the level, the best it is. So um, I would I would really recommend if you have um, Winnow, Winnow rank 2 or something in this pond, and um, you get only rank 2 apart from Sentinels, but they are easily dealt with. And um, you can also sink chests, probably an ideal thing if you have that, if you've done Azteca fishing, um, just because it is very very frustrating getting the chest because I don't give any points but anyway after you've done that we then head over to the pet pavilion so I usually head home and I go straight through my tapestry I would highly recommend if you don't get a to definitely get a tapestry to um, the hatchery or the pet pavilion of some form just because it's so easy to get over there and I would recommend you put on a baby pet for this just because you lose less energy so I am trying to maximize the um, energy that you save. Um, luckily, I have quite a few baby pets um, that I hatched more recently. We'll do this one. This is working on my fire pet. And essentially, you just go into the dance game. You go here. Obviously, it's only going to cost two. If I put on my normal pet, which is um, a what a mega pet, it costs um, ten. So definitely use a more cheap pet, like a baby or a teen or an adult even. Um, and just go to the first one or whatever and then just press the down arrow as soon as the game starts like right now just press the down arrow and unless it's all down you'll be fine um, and it'll automatically do that for what how three rounds and um, you know then you're fine and then basically just feed them the lowest pet snack so you can maximize how much energy you can have so finish or you play again play again doesn't really work the, they kind of broke that button but it's fine um, and you should see one one point should have happened yeah one point so you just need 20 of those to do that 20 times um also we can collect our first reward we'll collect them all at the end though so yeah i'll be back once i've trained up 20 times or 19 more okay just fed all of those snacks to the pit that only took 20 minutes ish probably slightly less um but anyway now what i do is i change to um my heading gear I then go click up here. What's next? Oh, we got to do a daily quest. So I go home. I go home real quick. And I go and click the daily assignment thing. Hello. Um, and we need to go and defeat a Bagastian Crowcaller in the Plaza of Conquest. I get gold, so it's fine. Okay, here we go. Look at people here already. Amazing. So yeah, usually you'll find some people who are just doing daily assignments as well, which is quite, quite a nice way to make friends or find new friends. Um, so yeah, we'll just grab these guys. Um, we got a shad right off the bat. That is so good. Um, we're just gonna Lulu right off the bat. 
Easy clap, otherwise I would have played it, but super duper easy. Easy 20 of end points, just like that. Um, which will take us up to, what, 2460, which is crazy. 60 in one day, whew, amazing. And all we've done is spent, what, like, a bit? That is a weird camera angle. That is a really weird camera angle. What the heck was that? I don't even know. But we killed them, so that's fine. Easy peasy. Daily assignment completed. 20 special event points. And we got to watch it spin. Because I love watching it spin and get a tick. I don't know why. I just always like that. Um, and then we go home. And we go and do some crafting. I um, generally craft these um, broken planks. Which is why I got the simple vial and the black coal. This can be collected from um, Adora in Wizard City. Um, basically, basic crafting station, then you just spam click create until you can't create anymore. Um, and that's how you do it. The other thing that I sometimes do is I create the balanced moon seeds or the beast moon seeds if I have a lot of the um, moonstone things, which I do at the moment, so probably future in the event cycle I will go and do that. Um, but yeah, there we go, we've done all the crafting. And we now need to go and use the team up kiosk, which is right here I would highly recommend getting a team up kiosk for your house if you don't already it has to be the um, The highest world so obviously we have to do this um, I really like doing the astral forest or any of the um, dungeons that you can farm for gear but sometimes that just doesn't work out, so we just go with whatever's there. I do always wait until everybody's in the fight before I kill, though. So um, that's a very important thing that you should probably do if you're doing team-up. Just wait until everybody's in the fight before you kill. Um, otherwise, it is quite rude. Um, and also, some of the credit doesn't get given if you um, don't wait for everybody in there. So, yeah. Even though this is a dungeon, you still should probably wait. Um, what is the stats? Gotta check his stats. How... How trash are they? Oh, really trash? Okay. Oof, you might want to get some better gear, dude. Just saying. No wonder you need help if you have this terrible gear. And why would you spend crowns on this? I'm actually kind of disappointed in this gear. It's actually really funny seeing all of the gear sets that people have in Team Up. Um, you know, some of them are actually kind of okay, and then some of them are just so trash. Like, so trash. It's ridiculous. Oh, we got a shad again. Wow, okay. Why does he have elemental spear trained? Why? Why? Wow, nice. Block, unlucky. Pachum. Okay, GG. 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 Nice, 20 special event points. We did it, boys. And that concludes our um fantastically fantastic... um how to get points for the spiral showcase we're gonna go and open everything up because that's fun hopefully we're back at our house yeah we are look at that fantastic so we managed to get 100 points from that so doing everything 100 points easy peasy um we can get this gold how much was that 1000 we can get these snacks which is like terrible but that's fine um we can also get these treasure cards which are again terrible but hey that's fine um and next up we get three mega reagents so that's fun um, we also have the Scroll of Fortune, so, oh, we get to unlock a new thing. What was this? This was a, um, Decathlon balance, balance Tower Pack, so, um, all of that sort of stuff. Oh, Balance Blade, that's not too bad. I will definitely take that. And those, um, and then we get a new emote. Wow, Abracadabra. Interesting. Um, and what are we on to here? This is a Sonic Spring. Oh, that's gonna be so good. That's actually really good. Let's do the abracadabra as we do the outro. But anyway, thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, press the wee little bell so you know exactly when I post another video. And remember, craft outside the box.